And now on CentralCoastRadio.com, we are turning our attention to Oz Comic Con, and our first guest on today's show is Lucy Martin, a British actress, of course, that many of you will know, who played Ingrid in Vikings, and she was also Penny in Riviera. She's also got a few projects coming out at the moment as well that we'll talk to her about today, but uh, welcome to the program, Lucy. Thank you very much. So, Lucy, I have to ask, how are you feeling about being able to head down to Australia for Oz Comic Con? Uh, I'm really excited. I actually haven't been to Australia before, so um, it'll be my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you heard about our country, and what are you looking forward to doing while you're here? Um, well, I mean, I've, I've heard that you've got it all. <laughs> um, and that you have uh, some of the most poisonous animals in the world. <laughs> I mean, <so>. Of course. <laughs> um, so, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, 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 not at all. You go, sorry. Yeah, so I was going to ask, these conventions are so big and there'll be so many fans coming along to meet you. Have you done many of these conventions in other parts of the world? Yes, I have. Yeah, I've done. Um, I've done quite a few comic cons now. Um, I I actually just got back. I'm in Los Angeles. I just got back from Wales. Um, but I mean, we've been. I've been to um, Austria, Germany, quite a few times, um, and uh, Saudi Arabia, and oh, lots of places. <laughs> but yeah, it's really lovely to um, meet everyone. It's really lovely to meet fans of the show. Um, yeah, I really enjoy them. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your experience with Vikings. How did that come about for you? Because you had done a lot of theatre before that. You'd worked on London's West End. How did that offer of Ingrid in Vikings first come about for you? Uh, so I, so yeah, so I, I uh, was a professional dancer and um, I started uh, my first job in dirty dancing in London when I was 17. And... Um, I, 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 prior to that, I had gone to a um, performing arts school called Tring Park in Hertfordshire. Um, I got a scholarship there when I was 15. And um, uh, at the school, we studied everything, uh, acting, singing and dancing. And um, uh, screen acting as well as theatre acting and um then all of the dance styles and then obviously singing and um yeah it really crossed over into everything um uh, on the performance side of things and i always knew that that was what i wanted to do so um i started my journey in as a dancer in theater then i started playing roles and um at the same time i was also um focusing and uh going and doing courses um, uh, for screen acting. And it was only really a matter of time until I started getting auditions. And um, it started with sort of doing music videos and things like that. And uh, until I got myself Riviera. Um, I also did a, a music video for The Hurts, actually, um, way back when. Um, and yeah, and then Vikings came along, and um, I actually did about maybe four or five auditions for the for the series uh, for different roles um, until Ingrid, and then yeah, I um yeah I got I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of young actors and actresses probably wonder the answer to this question. What was the biggest difference you noticed going from stage productions to? screen acting was there a difference at all that you really noticed well yeah i mean when i when i studied it when i was younger there was an obvious difference um you know everything is, is a lot smaller on screen <laughs> so, sorry you your acting has to be a lot smaller on screen yep. um because everything is exaggerated and obviously on a, uh, a theater stage you're having to project to they always say you have to project to the person who's in the the, who's at the back, you know? So yeah. um, the gods, that's what we say. So um, I would say that's probably the the, the biggest uh, difference in uh, theatre acting to screen acting. Um, 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what was it Sorry. like? What was it like walking onto the set of Vikings for the first time? Because the scale of that show almost felt like every episode was a feature film. What was that like? Work, walking onto the set for the very first time. It was. Um, it was like being in Disneyland, but like Vikings land. You know, that's the best <laughs> way to describe it. It's like it's like a whole new world. It was the set is actually Katika is amazing, um, and uh, even just. Uh, obviously I watched, I ended up watching the series. I had watched a few bits before I got the, uh, had the auditions. Um, but then once I got the job, I then obviously watched it all. And, um, it was quite overwhelming, but also the, the set is just so dramatic and it's just every, every detail is just perfect. It's just, um, it's a really amazing place. I actually was, um, I remember we were having chats when the show finished, um, and um, they were saying about maybe opening it up so people could go on tours around there, um, which is a great idea. But obviously, since the um, Vikings Valhalla, they're obviously reusing the set. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, my, my first day was pretty... It was my opening scene, actually, that I did on my first day um, with Alexander Ludwig Bjorn. Um, and he was amazing and so welcoming. The cast were just, yeah, they're, they still are. They're great people. It was such a physical show. Did you find that much of your stage experience and your dance experience came in handy with the role of Ingrid at all? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, stage um, doing um, fight scenes and uh, even continuity. You know, you don't think about things like that when you're when you start out. Or I, I didn't as such, but it was like, okay, we're going to do another take, but you need to do the exact same thing as in like have the cup in your left hand at this point and all of that sort of thing. And from obviously being a trained um, professional dancer, it was, it's like choreography. So it's just doing it over again. And it, it you know, you're um, naturally you find it easier, I think, because it's in your body. Um, and as far as fight scenes, uh, that's great fun. Again, it's, it definitely helped being a, um, um, having had the dance background, um, remembering movements and things yeah it was um felt quite lucky for that <laughs> i've spoken to a few action stars over the years including some of the cast of game of thrones and they've told me that they nearly all walked away with some injuries from any from those scenes was there any that stood out for you um i no i do i have a bit of a niggle <laughs> a niggle um just behind my shoulder um but Apart from that, no, I was pretty lucky. But I didn't do that many fight scenes in Vikings. Um, I did towards the end, and there was like a battle and stuff, and they did quite a lot of archery. Maybe that's where it came from, yeah. <laughs> from the archery. But, um, but no, I, not compared to... Um, I definitely didn't hurt myself as much as in comparison to having a dance career, you know? Yep, yep. You get injured a lot <laughs> as a dancer. <laughs> And you're working on another historical drama now with Bodeca. Tell us a little bit about that and what that experience has been like for you. Oh yeah, Bodeca. Um, so we finished. I finished filming that um, a few months ago now, uh, uh, in which I actually got to do loads of fighting, which I loved. Um, so yeah, I really got to live out my shield maiden dreams there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, again, I'm sorry. A historical piece, um, but very similar in a in the shield maiden way. Yep. Well, with Vikings and also Bodeca, do you go and do much research into the history? Like because they are historical dramas, do you go and do any research into what it was like during that time, or do you trust the screenwriters enough to have captured everything perfectly? Oh no, I, I always research uh, yep. prior to filming. Um, that's just what I do in my prep time. I also like to be prepared. Um, and especially when you're developing a character, I think, um, like, uh, delving into the history and what, what it was like at the time. And, um, you know, especially as a woman, different dynamics and all of those things, I really think it helps build a character and build depth to a character um, and an understanding. So... Yes, yeah, I always, I always do do some research. research. Sorry, <laughs> research. <laughs> uh, Lucy, you mentioned about going around the world and meeting some of the fans of Vikings. It has such a strong fan base. 
how have you found that going around the world and meeting the different fans? And, and what are the questions that you seem to always get from those fans? Um, it's wonderful uh, getting to meet the fans. Um, that's the thing about the difference between, between theatre and obviously um, TV and film is that with theatre you get that uh, instant accolade. You know, you get a clap at the end. Yeah. Um, and you get the, you can hear the reactions in the audience, and um, it, you, there's a real thrill in theatre, and you really, um, you get that appreciation um, from the audience straight away. But obviously, in TV and film, when you're on set, you don't get that. You know, no one's. I mean, you might every now and again if you do a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the crew might clap, um, but that rarely happens. And it, yeah, it, it, and sometimes you know you can. Um, it's just a different feeling, I suppose. But when you go to these Comic Cons, you then you sort of get that feeling back. You're then with people who are um, who love who love the show, or they love your work, or um, yeah, it's it's really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very. I feel very grateful that I that I um, get to go to these Comic Cons and that I'm invited because. Um, it's really lovely to meet everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was the second question? <laughs> what, what, what is the question that you get asked most often at these conventions? Oh. Yep. Sorry. Um, probably along uh, a, a common one is um, uh, who was like the biggest joker in the show, or um, which was the hardest scene, um, like emotionally and physically, um, as an actor. Um, and is there something that you can remember um, that's like this that stands out to you um, as like a, a real moment for you when you know when filming Vikings? That's always a good one, actually. And that gets asked quite a lot. <laughs> what was your first convention like? Because there's been a few times when Oz Comic Con or one of the conventions here in Australia has been someone's first convention, and we've seen people cry when they've stepped out on stage. We've seen people beforehand thinking that. Nobody is going to turn up to their Q and A. Um, what was your first convention like? Well, I, yeah, I definitely felt like that. I think you still feel like that now. Sometimes I still feel like that now. Sometimes you sort of think, is anyone going to want to come and say hello? Like it's like there's you always get that um, that feeling, I suppose. Um, my first convention, where was I? Um, my first convention was in London. That's when my first convention was, and it was actually before COVID. Um, and it was, I just, I didn't really know a lot about them. So it was like, it was like a whole new world, to be honest. Um, it was, it was a shock. Uh, I didn't even know they existed. So, um, I kind of, I, I, obviously once I got invited, I was, you know, pretty excited about it, but nervous. Um, but everyone was so lovely and everyone was just so happy to be there and they were just like having their having like the best day and like it was great meeting so many other actors and performers and yeah it was it, it was um i would say it was overwhelming i definitely ended the day and i was exhausted <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah pretty terrifying but uh fun it was fun Awesome. Well, Lucy, we are right out of time, but uh, I just wanted to ask before I go, is there anything you would like to say to all your fans here in Australia before they go out and grab tickets for Oz Comic Con? Oh, just that, um, please come and see me. Come and say hi. Um, I, I, I really appreciate you all, because at the end of the day, we, um, none of us would be here without you. You know, the reason that these shows end up um, carrying on for so long and, you know, the reason that we get invited is because you guys are supporting us. And, um, and yeah, I think I can speak on behalf of everybody in Vikings that we're really grateful for you all. Um, so, yeah, come along and uh, I can't wait to meet you all.